Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, for those of you who are new, hey, my name is LaDawn and this is the No Lie Naturally Me channel. I don't know about you, but I have, I'll be 50 in about six months. And over the last two years especially, I've been noticing that these gray, disrespectful strands have been sprouting up all over my head. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually don't mind graying, but these strands were so disrespectful. They weren't uniform or anything. They want to do their own thing. And so I decided that um, I wanted to take a natural approach to dyeing them. Uh, in the past, I did try a dye, um, a box dye on my hair, and that story did not end well. <laughs> About two years ago, after I had my first autoimmune attack, for those of you who don't know the story, I will put a link up here. But once I had that episode, I noticed that my hair was really, really dry and brittle. When you have health issues, a lot of times it can take a toll on your body in general. Um, and of course, that includes your hair. And um, so I decided to color my hair. I noticed that the dye was breaking my hair off, and so I did not want to continue dyeing my hair. However, these strands were really, really, really starting to annoy me. So I decided to try a henna color to um, mask or dye my grays. Now, uh, full disclosure, Henna is not the same as a permanent um, hair dye. So when it comes to grays or even your regular strands, um, it's not going to give you that full um, color on your hair. Uh, what henna will do though is like, as you can see, it made my hair darker, which I like. I did dark brown and my hair is, it's not light brown, but it's somewhere between brown and light brown. But it did such a great job of covering these grays. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did to get this effect. Um, as you can see, they're not here. Uh -uh. Where are you at? So I'm going to demonstrate to you in today's video how I accomplished this look. Um, this is just a wash and go in terms of styling uh, with minimal products. I think I just used Eco Styler Gel and I had um, uh, Elucent's Moisture Balance Conditioner. I will put links to everything I used in the information section below and let's get to this video. So I'm going to begin by preparing my henna powder. Now I like to use all natural henna hair color. Um, there are products that contain a blend of natural henna and, you know, quote unquote, man-made <laughs> ingredients. I prefer the all natural route because that's just where I am in terms of my health journey with my autoimmune illness and I just like to keep things natural because the henna, if left natural, will not change the structure of my hair, it will only enhance it. I'm going to continue to mix the henna with water until I get the consistency I prefer. It's totally a personal preference. More liquidy is messier, <laughs> but thicker can be really difficult to apply as you'll see later. Another really cool benefit of henna, besides it's being a natural plant-based um, hair dye alternative, is the fact that it makes your hair so bouncy, so shiny, so smooth. It actually strengthens the hair, and some folks have said it makes their hair thicker. So I'm really interested in seeing if I reap those results over time as well. Okay, so now all secrets will be revealed. <laughs> Look at this gray. I have so much more of it like in the front and like in my parts. It's like it knew where I strategically placed my parts and the gray decided to come in there. <laughs> So I'm really excited about this henna job. So 
So as you can see, it was struggle bus for a moment there. You have to really play with this product, um, you know, your henna, especially when you are experimenting with different textures of henna, you know, playing with the amount of water you add to the powder. This was the first time I ever did henna on my hair with this little water added to the powder so it's very thick and what I learned is that it was definitely more difficult to apply so here you'll see me apply it to my hair um, but I found that it was just easier to use my hands opposed to a brush when the product is that thick and then ultimately I ended up adding more water to the henna just to make it a bit more pliable so I am sorry for the unattractive lighting here guys but this henna gave me the flux <laughs> I learned just working with the thicker henna, it 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 just was not the best way to apply the product. It was going to be messy either way. I thought if I made it a bit thicker, it wouldn't be as messy as it can be, um, but it was definitely more easy to apply to my hair when I thinned it out by adding a bit more water, so I would definitely recommend that. And here you can see I've applied it fully. It felt like it took forever. So rule of thumb is the longer you leave henna on your hair, the deeper the color deposit will be. This was only after two hours. Can you believe that? I was so surprised by the depth of color I saw. So after washing and conditioning my hair, this is what it looked like. This is before any styling products have been added to my hair. Not bad. And these are the final results. I've applied my leave-in conditioner and hair gel, and I'm rocking a wash and go. And as you can see, you are not able to see or clock those gray hairs. They are invisible. Um, if you look super, super, super close, you may be able to see a little bit of color variance between my grays and my the rest of my hair, but they aren't really visible at all unless you're looking super, super, super hard. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you will give Hannah a try. Let me know in the comments your thoughts, and I will look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.